Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Um, I actually recorded two videos uh, a week and a half ago and on a new camera and the camera didn't work and so I lost the videos. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> we're gonna hop back into this. Um, I have been away because a lot of change has been in the air. Um, I moved and that is chaos in itself. And then I lost my sweet puppy boy and that was detrimental. And so I needed a break, I took a break, and then I'm back. <laughs> so thanks for having me back. Um, as you can see, Today we're going to be doing my boxy charm, and I've had a few boxy charms come uh, since I've been away, but I decided not to do those. Um, I was going to try to like fit them in and do all of them in a video, and I was like, that'll be too much chaos. So we're starting fresh, and we're going to do my boxy lux for the month of March, and it looks like it's a little St. Patrick's Day um, theme. So that's really cute. So we're gonna jump right in. If you are interested in finding out what I got in this lovely boxy charm box, then go ahead and hang out with me. All right, here we go. Sorry if that was loud. I gotta get used to being back on my camera. Um, okay, so. Well, first things first, let's introduce my little desk area. Um, it will change probably a lot <laughs> over the next few videos. I'm trying to figure out how I want it to look. And so I've got a lot of cute things that I want to like put in this corner, but we'll see how it goes. So I don't know, but for right now, this is what's here. You'll see this little plaque that says the boss, duh. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. So first thing I got is a palette by Bee Beauty London and it says Barbarella. It has cute little, oh, these are like raised. Cute little eyelashes on it. Oh, this is not what I expected from that. Um, and you know what's funny is I already looked at this palette. <laughs> I already forgot what it looked like. Um, let's take the plastic off. It's a very neutral heavy um, with like three pops of color. Um, so I did not expect that. I expected pinks because it's pink, you know? But they look really pretty. Um, there's only five mattes out of the whole thing. All the rest are shimmery colors. It comes with a mirror with my ring light. Um, and this retails for $50. It's a pretty heavy duty um, palette, so I think that's worth it. Um, I don't wanna touch the eyeshadow because I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or not. I have a ton of neutral palettes, so maybe, maybe not. One of you might get it. It might be a present for someone. Who knows? Anyways, $50 for that. All right, let's do these little things because they're so cute. Actually, let's like the flex. Actually. I had to take the plastic off because it was too loud. But look at how cute this is. It's like picking up my ring light. It's eggs and it's by Beauty Bakery. That makes sense. I don't even know why I need to look at that. And it's makeup sponges really hard to get into in an actual carton but they each come individually wrapped that's nice oh and they're super squishy there's teal and there's pink oops pink and it looks like that's the only difference is the color everything else they're the same shape and the same kind of density and everything still so, um i really like those and they are 18 dollars that's pretty good. There's six of them, so that's $3 each. You can't beat that. Um, makeup sponges are heck of expensive for no reason, just because they like to upcharge us. All right, let's do the... Ooh, I was excited about this one. 
It's Fenty Beauty. Is that backwards? No. Fenty Beauty. And it's a foundation, um, soft matte longwear foundation pro filter. And I was excited about this because they actually got my color right. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see that, are you? There it is. That's pretty hard to do. Um, and it's got a weird shaped bottle. It's like flat on the sides, but still round. And it comes in a pump. Um, and I really like Fenty Beauty, so I'm excited about this. And I really hope this foundation works on me, but they did get my color right, so I was really impressed with that. Um, and that is $36. That's about average for a, a good, um, for a not drugstore foundation. I almost said mascara three times. Oy vey. Okay, let's do this Dominique Cosmetics lip cream and liner. I thought it was a lip gloss, but it's not. It's a lip cream and liner. And it is, oh, it's only one thing. So it's both in one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I thought it was two things. Nope, it's not. Um, it looks like this. And it has this um, kind of triangle shape. I know that's hard to see. I really like this color. It doesn't tell me what it is on there. Oh, it's Crush. Um, I really like this color. It's like a, I would say a mauve neutral, more of like a pinky gray purple undertone. Um, and I dig that because that's the color I go to the most. And that's also $18. Next, we have this 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask by, oh no, I don't know who that's by. How do you say that? A-M-N-H Cosmetics. So I guess they don't, um, there we go. This is hard to see. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. Um, it's called Kiss the Stars 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. And it's like this, my dog. So it's a 24K Gold Lip Plumping Mask. And it's a gold, it's like a jelly consistency. It smells like mint. Oh, and there's little floaty hearts in there. Why? Why would they do that? I feel like that's not safe. I'm gonna have to try this and get back to you about it. Um, it has aloe vera in it, jojoba oil, a vitamin E, vegan collagen, so that's nice for those of you who are vegan. Peppermint flavor, that's what I smell. I said flavor, peppermint oil. Um, and then, Biodegradable gold stars. I don't understand. Um, it says apply an even amount of mask to make it free lips. Leave on for three to five minutes. Wash off lip mask with water. So I guess it's okay because you wash it off, but pretty interesting. And this is $42. That's uh uh, would never, <laughs> never. What the heck? $42 for this. It better be like all gold. That's all I'm saying. All right. Now we have this rose quartz hair mask. And this is, oh, rose quartz is the company. That's funny. Oh, this ring light is really giving me a time. You can see it. It's cute, pretty blush color on the outside. Um, it says love unconditionally. That's a good word. Uh, especially in this season, season of the world. And I'm saying it to myself too. It is hard to love people unconditionally. Ooh. Okay, I don't usually like the smell of rose. I almost said quartz. Rose, but this does not smell like perfumey rose. It smells like legit flower outside rose, and I can handle that. It's a, like, mousse 
texture, no. Mousse? Uh, actually, it kind of looks like whipped coconut oil, if that makes sense. And it's a hair mask, so that's pretty fun. And this is $31. That feels about right to me. Let's go with this bad boy. Okay, we've got this Soleil. I think it's Soleil. I might be wrong. Hair tools, mini heat brush. And it looks like this on the outside. Um, let's see what it says about it on here. Ceramic tourmaline, tourmaline bristles. I'm, I'm wrong, I know. Glide through the hair. Infrared technology locks in moisture for frizz-free hair. Rapidly heats up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, heat resistant bristle guard, and dual voltage for worldwide usage. That's pretty cool that they did that. Since I travel a lot, and it's pretty small, so that's handy. Oh, it's cute. I wanna show you what the bristles look like. You see? So the middle ones are, there we go, that's a good view. The middle ones are like a rounded thing. I've never seen a brush like that before. Let's see how it does in my hair. Ah, it goes through nice. It's just an on off switch. Um, it's nice and it comes with a little case thingy in the bobber. I'll probably, and instructions. Oh no, this tells us what else they have to offer us. Nice, oh wait. Oh, and it has a code for 55% off. That makes me nervous when things are 55% off. Um, and it has a warranty on it. So you can send in your information to get a warranty on it. That's really nice. And it makes sense why it's got a warranty on it. Um, it is $150. Can we take a minute? This is $150. What? That's confusing to me. <laughs> um, but thanks, BoxyCharm, because I would never ever in my entire life buy this for $150. I'd never do it. It's no, never. Not even like, I, uh, even if I had millions of dollars, I still would think that was ridiculous. You know what I mean? Anyways, if I had millions of dollars, I'd probably hire someone to do my hair all the time anyways, because I don't like to. I'm lazy with my hair. Well, that's fun. <laughs> and the last thing that we have is this Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Cute plums on the outside. I live for hyaluronic right now. Um, I just, my face loves it. And actually the rest of my body does too, because I take a hyaluronic acid supplement. Um, and it's really helped with like my dry heels and elbows and all of that. This is really cute. It's got like, it looks like a peach butt, but it's supposed to be a plum, I think, which I mean, it should supposed to be a plum because it's a plum product. Let's smell this. Oh, oh. I understand. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like plum, just so you know. And it is a pump, it's not a twist. So that's really nice. And this is $42. So if we add up our entire box, it comes up to a whopping $387. I think that's one of the highest price boxes I've had. I, I think there's one higher than it that was like in the 400s, but $387 for the, the Lux box is $50, I think, every three months, if I'm correct. I can't remember. The main box, the main boxy charm box is $25 a month. And then you have the option to upgrade or add a boxy premium which that one if i'm correct is 35 dollars a month um, and then you also have the opportunity to add on top of those or just whatever you have so many options but you can do the boxy lux every three months for 50 dollars. i think 
I think it's $50. And then you get a large amount of things in the Boxy Lux box. And I tend to like the Boxy Lux better than, can you hear my cat screaming? I tend to like the Boxy Lux boxes better um, because they tend to give uh, higher quality products, um, higher quality companies, and um, that's more exciting, isn't it? So anyways, <laughs> that's my box for this month. Um, thank you for patiently waiting for me to come back. I'm happy to be back. I am excited to like have things settled in my house now. So, and by my house, I mean my mother's house that I'm living in um, so that I can be just, I need peace <laughs> and I don't feel peace if everything's in chaos. So I needed to get things organized and I feel like I'm at that place now. And so I'm excited to get to share things with you guys. So many videos coming up. I've got Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm sure I'll be hitting up Target soon. I've got snack crate videos coming. Um, I've got a new box that um, I'm really excited about. Um, probably will come out after this one will be my guess. Yeah, I think it'll come out after this one. Um, so hang out with me and look forward to any videos that I have putting out. If you have any uh, suggestions or ideas of videos you wanna see, you know I'll do them. So go ahead and pop them down in the comments down below. Um, and if you like these kinds of videos, and by these kinds of videos, I mean really anything. I'm all over the place. <laughs> but if you like, uh, hanging out with me, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, please. Um, give this video a like and uh, let's, let's build this thing up. So thanks for hanging out with me. Can't wait to see you next time and look forward to hearing any of your comments or feedback down below. Oh, also find me on social media. Information is down below. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna start doing that from now on. It's really obnoxious. Anyways, until next time, thanks for hanging out. Bye.